Find the expression using the binomial theorem. So first of all, you need to figure out that general form. We go to y equals we plug in. So n equals 4. Then I need to go to 4, then go to math, probability, then go to 3. Yeah, enter. Then for this one, we put the x. Using the x, that's the default variable. Then you need to multiply. A here is a 5r, so I use the 5. We only plug in the coefficient here. 2, 4 minus x. Okay, the 4 minus x. Okay, then you multiply. And B here is a negative 2. So I do the negative 2, 2 to the x power. Then we will go to second graph. Look at the table. So we have five terms. The first term coefficient, the first term is a 625. And I keep going. In other words, the expanded expressions will be 625r to the 4th power minus 1000r to the 3rd power plus 600r squared minus 160r plus 16. For example, find the coefficient of the 5th term of 2x minus 5 to the 10th power. And uh, we will figure out the fifth term will be this one. And how we put this form into the calculator. And from the combination, we will put the 10 first. Then I go to math. We go to probability. Then we go to 3. Put the enter. Then we put 4. We multiply. For the calculator, do not put any variable because we only looking for the coefficient. For the main screen of calculator, cannot deal with any variable. So we do 2 to the 6th power. Then we multiply. Negative 5, we do fourth power, then put enter. Yeah, that will be the answer.